All right, so in the last one, we learned how to spawn the player and use coordinates as well as set the player model and then put them into the game. So now today, we're going to actually look at the uh, chat resource. So this is a default resource that comes with um, Alt-V only if you take the box. So this is a really important resource. So if you've ever played any game, it usually has a command with a slash. kind of looks like this. Do stuff, you know, little slash there, and then the command name. So we're actually going to use that to do a majority of our interactions, uh, especially with the server and the client and things like that as well. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and we're going to add a dependency instead of resource.cfg. So if we do DEPS colon chat. And that is how we load chat inside of this specific resource called example. So now the dependency, it has a, de or I guess a better way to put it is this now has a dependency for chat. Okay. And if we take a look at chat, the main file is called index. And inside of here, we're going to see a handful of exported functions. So these are functions that we can use from inside of the example resource. So to give you an example, we're going to go ahead and load chat. So if I do import all or import chat from chat like that, and we console log chat, and we run the server, we'll see that we have three different functions that we can work with now. We have send, broadcast, and register CMD. So these are all functions that I can use now that I've imported chat. So, so let's do a small example on registering a command. So if we do register CMD, and if we register the command of, let's say, um, hello, and then the callback is always gonna have player as the first, as the first argument, and then the second one is going to be a list of arguments that come with it. So if I do player or chat send, and then we're going to go ahead and send the data to the player. So if we look at index.mjs and we go down to send, you'll see player and then message. So it's looking for a player and it's looking for a message to send to that player. So if we put in the first parameter, player, and the second parameter, world, this should reply back to us. So we're going to go ahead and restart the server. I'm going to go ahead and reconnect. I'll reconnect one more time. Oh, it looks like, okay, so it looks like the chat's a little out of date. So we're going to actually update that for them. So give me one second. So this should actually be resource HTML index, I believe. Let me just double check that. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that fixed that little issue we were having there. So now that it's spawned us into the position here, we're going to type slash hello. And as you can see in the top left, we got a reply of world. So now we have access to chat commands and a chat box, which means we can send messages to people around us or all across the server, which is great. And now that we have that, let's go ahead and head back over to our server MJS and we can begin working with some of this stuff. So one of the first things we did was spawn the player and now we have access to uh, the commands. So let's add some very basic commands. Uh, we're going to do register CMD. We're going to do set health, or we'll do set HP is what we'll call it. We'll do the player, and then we'll pass an argument here. And then we're going to write a command that's going to change the player's health. So here's what you need to know about these args here. So these arguments are actually an array. And what that means is that your first argument 
for instance. So if argument and arg.length is greater than or is less than or equal to one, or now actually if it's zero, then we need to return here and we need to tell the player player slash set HP and then we could do amount. Okay? So if this argument is not defined, so here, how about this? If argument is not defined or the length is less than or equal to zero, that means that nothing was defined. We need to set that to zero. Now the next thing we can do is get the number that they passed. So if we do arg zero, that will give us the amount, but there's a problem with this. Everything that is passed as an argument, especially from a text box, is considered a string. So we need to parse int on this, okay? And then, now that we know, so if amount, or wait, is not a number, amount, then we need to return and tell the player the amount specified was not a number. And then the final step is setting the player's HP to this amount. So if we do player health or set health, either one, they're both basically the same, but this is how we talk to the API, player.health, and then number up to 200. So we're gonna do amount, okay? So we're gonna close down the server, restart it, open up our game. And we're gonna take a look at our first command here. So now that we've reconnected, let's go ahead and try setting our HP. So we'll do set HP 20. The amount specified was not a number. So clearly I've done something wrong here. Ah, so this is, is not a number. Then we send it. So there's no need for the exclamation point there. So apologies for that error there. That should actually resolve it. And you know what? Let's actually close down the server one more time and we'll set this to zero because we want them to instantly spawn so we don't waste any more time. So let's go ahead and restart. There we go. Set HP, 20. And as you can see, I died. So the reason why that is, is because HP in Grand Theft Auto V, especially for Alt-V, is a little bit different. It's actually 100 through 200. So this is something that's not incredibly obvious. So what we need to do is we need to modify this amount. So if amount is less than 100, we're going to go ahead and do 100 or amount. Now we're going to change this to a let. We're going to do amount plus or amount equals 100 or plus equals 100. Okay, so if it's less than 100, we'll add the additional amount on there and then it'll solve itself. So now if we restart the server one more time and we do a reconnect, it's going to spawn us again. And the other thing to keep in mind is when you're dead like this and you rejoin the server, you'll be spawned. But until you respawn the player again, uh, they're basically dead forever. So now that we have this, okay, so let's do set HP and we're going to do 20 again. And as you can see, we have 20 HP down there in the bottom left. And now we can set that to 50, 75, and 100. And 100 is apparently dead, so let's just do 99, <laughs> just in case. All right. So there we go. Now we have all that set up. And that allows us to set the player's HP. So now you've learned the basics behind the player's health and how to register commands with the chat resource that's included with Alt-V. So thanks for watching on this one, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.